My position as Counselor for Refugee Affairs and Narcotics at the U.S. Mission to the United Nations that I had been told was the worst job in the Foreign Service turned out to be a really interesting opportunity and I had the chance to make something of it. The most significant part came from my dealing with the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, which managed the Palestinian refugee settlements throughout the Middle East. Um, several million Palestinians living uh, in camps or areas in Gaza, uh, in the West Bank, in Jordan, Syria, and in multiple locations in Lebanon. So this is 1983 while I'm working on this and I have the opportunity, the invitation from UNRWA, as the acronym, acronym is pronounced, to travel to all of these areas. So I'd never been to uh, the Middle East, I'd never been to Israel, never been to Jerusalem, and so I show up uh, there and uh, have a chance to see the um, amazing experience of being able to see Jerusalem, uh, the city so central to the religion that I grew up in, Christianity, uh, but also to go out and to be taken out to see what the uh, these camps look like where people were living, not things that were usually on any tourist experience. We went to Gaza. What a hellhole. It's, the, like the, it's right on the Mediterranean Sea. Should have been developed into a resort area with all this beach front. Uh, instead, it was run down uh, dilapidated uh, housing um, where people were living in just abject uh, poverty. The UN facility, so what the UN did was it didn't manage the camps, it didn't uh, provide the police or security function, it essentially acted as the Ministry of Education, ran schools, and the Ministry of Health. It ran um, health stations and hospitals and clinics providing those services to Palestinians. Um, and as I'm going around and seeing, it was like the worst uh, thing I had uh, seen, except for the Cambodian genocide victims, but uh, just terrible circumstances. And uh, when uh, we got to the UNRWA headquarters, uh, fighting broke out and uh, bullets were cracking over my head like I was back in Vietnam. I remember diving to the ground um, on there. We, it stopped and we just continued on our business. Going to the West Bank while I was out there, there were demonstrations taking place. You could sense uh, the tension that existed between the refugees and the uh, Israeli uh, police forces and military forces that provided the security. In Jordan, the uh, government of Jordan, uh, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, really had a very tight hold on Palestinians there um, because of the sense there could be political activism as Palestinians might want to decide Jordan is their homeland drove through Syria, got to feel the uh, incredible uh, dictatorship uh, of uh, Assad imposed on the Syrian people. I remember driving through Damascus, all the cars there were like from America in 1954. Um, and once again, a, a country ruled with stern authoritarian rule, very hard to find any Palestinian settlements. And after that, we got to uh, Lebanon 
And Lebanon would be a truly remarkable experience. Uh, one, it was considered in 1983, when I got there, the most dangerous place on the planet. 